Well, it's a problem so many dog owners face. You're stuck at work and your furry friend is home alone and maybe in need of a walk. A growing number of dog walking apps may be able to help. Julian Lepresti considers his dog Reptar family. She's probably the most loyal dog I've ever had. But for much of the day, he's stuck at work. You're leaving your apartment at 7 a.m., and sometimes you don't get back till 7 p.m., 8 p.m. It's not fair to the dog to leave them in the apartment for that long. So he downloaded WAG, an on demand dog walking app that lets him hire a dog walker with the push of a button. On this day, Eleanor Clow got the job, and with the help of a WAG lockbox, she gets into his apartment without a problem. Hi. Once they start the walk, you get a notification. You can follow them on GPS, and then it tells you what happened during the walk. And WAG's not alone. Similar apps, Swifto and Zingy, are also gaining traction in the growing dog walking industry. But on demand dog walking also has its risks. Caleb and Roger are comfortable with just about anybody walking them, but not all dogs are. Anne Marie Karish of the Humane Society says for some dogs, having a stranger walk them can be very stressful. Sometimes dogs just have a sense of who they like and who they don't for whatever reason. So it could be that the dog walker has a deep voice or a very high voice or they smell of smoke or they have just something about them that the dog is wary of. To ease those fears, all three apps say their dog walkers have to pass a background check and are very well trained. There is actually a very thorough uh, vetting process for all wax. Walkers, we hire less than 1% of the walkers that apply. A lot of security, it's knowing that the dog's taken care of. The apps also allow users to set up a meet and greet and reserve a preferred walker, but for last minute reservations, you'll have to settle for who's available. Pricing ranges from $10 for a quick potty break up to $65 for a two hour walk. And I want to give a shout out to Roger and Caleb, the two dogs that I was walking there in the stand up that mm -hmm. you saw. They are from the Humane Society. They both still need homes and they were Aww. so well behaved. I can't even tell you. They are adorable. And we have a couple more furry friends from the Humane Society that'll be coming in in our 8 o'clock hour who need homes as well. So stay